What's up, Ringside Collectibles? WrestlingFigures.com. Guess where we are? We're back live at San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, we are live. Really back live. It's so good to be back live. Uh, I've waited three years for this and um, got to wear a mask, but you know, what are you going to do? That's all right, man. We got some high quality masks here. We got friends all around and we have all kinds Everyone of. Everyone attending Comic Con is required to wear an approved face covering yeah. regardless of vaccination yeah. status. See, we follow the rules yeah. around here and that's the way that it goes. Yeah. Bill, there's another amazing centerpiece yep. here at San Diego Comic Con 2022. Tell us a little bit about it, man. What's going on? This is the WCW Nitro stage with full working lights, uh, full soft good banners, uh, WCW logos on the sides, and a collection of our figures, including the recent Ultimate Goldberg blowing smoke. When you see him blowing smoke on the stage like that, it really recreates his uh, dramatic entrance from that era. And of course, right in the front, uh, Ringside Collectibles exclusive. Uh, Absolutely, place of honor. Yeah, you know, he got, he got the front row. Much appreciated. Uh, NWO Wolfpacker, or should we say, what would you rather, NWO Wolfpack or NWO Elite? I think he's NWO Wolfpack. I think you're right, yeah. Uh, tell us just a little bit more about the stage. You know, we, we asked you last time about whether or not this is possibly something for future crowdfunding are we still looking for that kind of uh, interest here yeah it's always possible you want to gauge interest um, the reaction to the raw stage was uh, very positive and uh, we want to see what the reaction to the WCW version is as well we expect it to be just as positive awesome it looks amazing man it looks amazing and now we also have uh, the Reckon section right here, right? What's on display here? Tell me about we it. We have the new Reckon Rampage rig that is coming out in the fall. This is our big, uh, big Reckon vehicle for this year. It's a wreck it's a tow truck, and it's got the the uh, Wrecking Ball with the WWE title in the back. And as uh, you can see, there's tons of play features, removable parts. You can kick in the door. You can kick in the hood. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And then also available now is the WWE Reckon Slam and Spin ATV with the uh, exclusive Big E figure who looks like he's looks like he's getting the, the raw end of a deal here, but uh, sometimes that happens in uh, in WWE. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's all good though. A lot of fun happening here. I think the cool thing about Reckon is that, you know, sometimes people look at it and think elites may not go for it, but this type of display shows elites yeah. work great I, with I the mean, Reckon figures. Everything we do is meant to live sort of in the same same universe with the uh, with our figure you know, figures at this size. So you can, these will interact with your Reckon figures, your basic figures, your elite figures, and your ultimate figures. I see some newish things on display. I see the Elite Greatest Hits line right here. Is that the name of it? Yeah, we're, we're taking some, some elite figures and re-releasing them, but with a refresh, like a, a 2022 refresh, okay. including uh, updated DA, you know, true effects face art, and then the new uh, insert molded uh, arms, which gives you the benefit of the double jointed elbow. So even if you have previous versions of these figures, you don't have the upgraded versions. It'll be cool to see where that line goes in the future, right? Absolutely, if it's successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, also on display, the latest crop of WWE Legends. We know this is a, a, a retail exclusive. Tell me uh, a little bit more about what we have uh, from top to bottom. Uh, sure, we have our, our waves, which are in stores now. And the next wave, which we'll be releasing soon, includes Mighty Molly, Kane, Rey Mysterio from ECW One Night Stands and the Acolytes, Farouk and Bradshaw. And then the first wave of 2023 will include Ken Shamrock with uh, two uh, standard and a chase variant. Uh, Shawn Michaels, sort of immediately after he uh, broke up with Marty Jannetty. AJ Styles from the uh, waning days of WCW, a pre-WWE Ultimate Warrior back when he was in uh, World Class Championship Wrestling. Mm -hmm. So it's a head sculpt to match that his appearance then. Yep. And then also a uh, bonus head to match his first appearance on WWE TV. That's awesome. Yeah, there's so much detail that goes into these. Uh, you know, we, we love the way the Legends line's going and great to get a look at it. Okay, and then also uh, in this display right here, we have the WWE Survivor Series Elites for this year. Yes, coming soon will be the, the Survivor Series Elite Wave, which includes Drew McIntyre from his first ever Survivor Series. Uh, way back in the day, he looked very different then. Yeah, the chosen one, right? Yeah, the, when he was the chosen one, Becky Lynch. AJ Styles, I believe from two years ago, and Ultimate Warrior from 1990. Amazing. And then the build a figure is Ravishing Rick Rude from Survivor Series 1997, which is very famous because about a week later he showed up. He was on that show with a beard and also on Monday Night Raw, like the week after then, but he showed up the same night, fully shaved into the mustache on Nitro. So we're actually, you have a choice of heads that you, if you want to display him either in the WWE version or the WCW version? Amazing. The, the, the controversial Rick Rude uh, appearance on both shows yeah, kind of is now finally been immortalized, yeah. right? And now how about up here? 
Royal Rumble wave, which includes uh, Rey Mysterio from 2006, Damian Priest from 2021 when he showed up in the all-white gear, which was really nice, uh, Vader from his WWE debut, I believe it's 1996, mm -hmm. Brie Bella from the first ever Women's Royal Rumble in 2018, I believe, mm -hmm. and the builder figure is Doc Hendricks. There I think that's is. the first ever Doc Hendricks in his trademark salmon-colored suit which uh, very few humans can pull off. I know I cannot, but <laughs> he can pull it off. So I, you know, pow more power to him. Also, all the detail goes all the way down to the Royal Rumble microphone, right? Yeah, he's got an exclusive uh, Royal Rumble logo on the microphone, so. Excellent. If you're someone who collects microphones, this is, I think, the first time that one will be available. Very cool, very cool. And now uh, we have some upcoming elites here. So uh, looks like the main line, yeah, Let's right? start here with Elite 97. Uh, this was just, I think this just sounds for pre-order yep. on your site, but it's the first time we're showing the actual figures. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ilya Dragunov with the uh, WWE NXT UK title. Kofi Kingston in a gear based off of a, um, a third party property that you know we can actually reproduce because it's ours. It's, it's a cool. Skeletor. Brock Lesnar with the stairs and the camera for some good old Brock Smash fun. Hulk Hogan in the rather infamous uh, Hulk helmet, Hulk fist helmet. And the license plate. I think this is also the first time ever that the, the fist helmet has been immortalized in action figure form. Dewdrop, first ever Dewdrop, and that she will be the Chase version. The Chase will be the iridescent green outfit. And King Nakamura in a soft good entrance gear. Um, anytime I can reproduce a King figure, crowns are cool accessories. Which brings us to Elite 97, which will include King Woods, his successor, which also includes the crown and scepter. Uh, Sheamus, the new, um, the brawling bruiser version of Sheamus with the uh, protective face mask, yep. the derby, and a soft good jacket. Okay. Alexa Bliss with a brand new Lily doll with which we can't. It's the the head is removable. You can pop it off. Sweet. And you know, obviously the the sort of um, very extreme looking face uh, uh, face detail. Almost first ever elite almost, which includes his uh, tag shell tag taking championship. Quick, quickly, would you say this is the tallest elite of all time, or does it? Where, how does it compare with Andre? He might be taller than Andre. He might yeah. be, yeah. Because yeah. I think the only one that might have been taller was Great Khali, and Great Khali never was never an elite. An elite yeah, right? never had an yeah. elite. Very cool. But uh, yeah, he might be the tallest ever elite. So if that's if you collect tall figures, yeah. you want to make sure you get your almost. And Ronda Rousey from this year's Royal Rumble, uh, in the trademark all black outfit and um, jacket, and she has. It's a molded jacket, but it's flexible enough that she can actually point to the WrestleMania sign. Uh, and then let's check out just the bottom row here. Sure. I do see a Ringside Collectibles exclusive here. Yes, the Ringside exclusive Cameron Grimes, so much money it ain't even funny, which has the uh, the brand new head and hat and then the, the, the dollars and then holding the dollars, which is probably one of the coolest accessories I got to work on last year. The also remo that great removable. exclusive Ringside uh, packaging here. Yeah, our packaging team is just yeah, so good. Control. I mean, they, they just... Every time I see like the new stuff, it just like it wows me. Ruthless Aggression. Um, I think this is last series of this year. Mm -hmm. Is Rob Van Dam uh, updated artwork on the singlet, and then of course the uh, Rob Van Dam hands. Yep. Rey Mysterio from you know sort of recreating Ruthless Aggression series one with the chair accessory that he had back at you know with that figure, mm -hmm. and Booker T. Uh, it's an NWO version of Booker T. Under the soft good pants, and there's a first time ever NWO. Deco underneath. Yeah, speaking right. of NWO, you have um, Kevin Nash NWO, a Ruthless Aggression era NWO, along with now Shelton. This is Benjamin. cool because this has been made as a basic figure and now it's got gotten an elite upgrade, right? Yeah, it made, just oh. made perfect sense for yeah. the Ruthless Aggression era. You know, yeah. there's a whole bunch of talent you can pick from, for and sure. the NWO were a, were a part of that, like right at the beginning of that era. So yep. it makes total sense. For sure. Shelton Benjamin, this is a figure that a lot of people sort of had uh, requested when, uh, they, when the Ruthless Aggression uh, line was announced. And then John Cena, with the, uh, the football jersey, and then um, he also has interchangeable heads, so you can have the, the standard head, and then also the sort of excited head that sort of matches the original version of that figure from a previous manufacturer. Now we come to the most intense section for me uh, out of all of it, the ultimate editions, yes. right? Ultimate articulation, ultimate detail, ultimate accessories. Tell us what you have on display for Ultimate Edition. Sure, we'll start from the top to the bottom. We have our Ultimate Legends, which includes Batista and Macho Man Randy Savage. We have an early factory sample of the next one in the assortment, Bret Hart. So this is prelim, This isn't, uh, but I literally got this like the day before the show. Nice. And I was so excited, I wanted to show it. There's still some things I want to maybe uh, fine tune a bit, but... Um, What's the era? Uh, it's based on the 1993 uh, Royal Rumble. 
Okay. And then the uh, the fan vote, the Shawn Michaels, which will be shipping very soon. Uh, I, I can't believe how well this turned out. These are like soft good uh, uh, chaps, basically. Yeah, right? soft goods, completely yeah. posable, soft good chaps. And he has removable earrings that, that, that and they function exactly the way you'd want them to. So. Quality, quality. Yeah, I, I, this is one you hang your hat on. And then the next wave, uh, first wave of 2023 is going to be Ultimate Warrior from uh, WrestleMania 7, which is a figure we did back in the day as a defining moment. You can see where uh, technology has come in 10 years. Uh, interchangeable hands so you can do more trademark poses and then you cannot see it on this sample but we for 2023 we are adding displacing hips so the hips actually like drop a little bit in the joint and then can move up so you can actually yeah. pose the legs higher than you ever could before and then of and course, of course Bro we brock beard brock. finally yeah right? we got brock with the ponytails brand new head sculpts he's gonna have both titles with the um the signature side plates mm -hmm. uh, and a range of hands to be uh to get the full Brock experience. And then how about down on uh, this yeah, row? We these have, are, we've uh, already seen these, yeah, right? These so we, are, have we just have some uh, Ultimate 13, yeah, Hogan, we, and- Yeah, uh, and then the Roman Reigns, obviously. This yep. is a figure where it's a character we've done a lot. It's very popular. Yep. He looks much cooler and dangerous than than, uh, than me when he does it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it to him. Fair enough. And then Mr. T, obviously, with uh, WrestleMania 1. And then coming later this year to MattelCreations.com, this is probably the thing I'm most excited about having worked on this year because I am a huge fan of Terry Funk. I've always wanted an Ultimate Terry Funk. This is a Terry Funk that was done a long time ago, right? Yeah, it's based off the WWF era of Terry, WWE, WWE era of Terry Funk, which we've done in the past, again. But you can see how far our, we've come. They're just so much more realistic and lifelike. He will be paired with Hulk Hogan with the, the white Hulkamania shirt and the red trunks and the white boots. And then this is the, uh, the belt is actually based off of the belt that came with that figure, which is based off of the title he won from the Iron Sheik. I don't think that's ever been in our line before. And now let's uh, have a look at the uh, basic figure sure. assortments because we've got a lot of new uh, new basics yeah, here. Yeah, there's a lot of new news and basics. First ever Zia Lee figure. Mm -hmm. Damian Priest returns with an updated look. Brian Breaker makes his action figure debut in basics line. And then Cody, we were able to use some existing tooling and you have a look at a Cody back in the line like really quickly. which is a, soon, right? Yeah. Like, and then uh, Ponytail Broccoli available in basics as well. Okay. And then also the Dirty Dogs. Uh, return to the WWE lineup, Rude and, uh, Ziggler. Rude and Ziggler, and then Ziggler will have a variant. Amazing. And then uh, Reggie will debut in Basics, as okay. you can see here. He has the standard and chase variant with the, the, the changing color of the pants. Mm -hmm. Nikki Ash, uh, ASH, will debut uh, in her uh, ASH version in Basics. And then an updated uh, John Cena with the, uh, the Peacemaker style hair. Yep. Cena and Roman will be our championship two-pack, so uh, it'll come with uh, Cena and Roman and then the, the belt. Becky and Bianca Belair, and uh, Usos, they will be available in Championship 2 packs as well with their tag titles. Great, great. Uh, and then also Bend and Bash, right? Bend and, yeah, Bend and Bash. Uh, we have our Bend and Bash accessory sets, which have a uh, breakaway bar for John Cena, and then Roman Reigns comes with the breakaway table. With they look great, man. The Bend and Bash line is uh, a, a step outside of the norm a little bit. And yeah, it's the faces, the, uh, and, yeah. Uh, of the old line, the 80s that the Hasbro did, where it's like they were obviously a stylized version of the Super Sauce, but they also really captured the essence of the people that they're that they're duplicating. Right. All right, and let's uh, let's check out the superstars here. Uh, superstars is one of our best received lines. We obviously have series two here, and then um, uh, some some new figures. I believe the Undertaker and Million Dollar Man and Papa Shango are are brand new reveals, and, and Macho Man. You don't skimp out on accessories or anything in this line. Collectors won't stand for that. Yeah, so, that's uh, true. Yeah. Uh, and then also we have the retros, right? We have the retros. There's nothing new in the case tonight for, for preview night, but, you know, it's first day of the convention, that's so true. who knows? Yeah. It'll be a nice surprise to possibly see what may come over the next couple of days. Who knows? Yeah, I think so. Cool. I think, I think, I think, watch this space. Watch okay. this space. All right. Everybody hear that? Watch the retro space. Bill, let's wrap it up with... Uh, Definitely one of the most exciting pieces, not only on display, but available here at Comic-Con. Yep. Uh, the No Holds Barred Ultimate Edition 2-Pack. This is this year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It's based on No Holds Barred, our packaging team. I mean, just look at this. It's still beautiful. Incredible. The yeah, VHS, incredible. not just the VHS case, but also the actual, the actual VHS. VHS. Amazing. It's one of those things where you work on something, you think you did a, a good job on, on the actual product, and then you see, you see it in the package. It's like, man, it's... It's like the the sprinkles on the on on the on the frosting on the cupcake, but the sprinkles are like gold because it's just that good. It's just that good. That sounds like an ultimate edition cupcake. So if you're at uh, San Diego Comic Con, you can pick it up. 
Otherwise, it's uh, Mattel Creations uh, if you're not able to make it to the show, right? Yes. Uh, very, how many times have you watched No Holds Barred is my next question. I've watched sections of the movie a lot. Okay, go. Yeah, Interesting. I, I watched the What's That Smell scene quite a bit <laughs> just, to, just to capture the right screen capture to get the most uh, bug-eyed look uh, of Hogan to send to the sculpting team and go like, this is what I need. I, th I think I landed on it. I think it worked, man. The eyes are as bug-eyed as they get. Even that little kid's going crazy about it right now. What can, <laughs> he's like, yeah, those bug eyes. Uh, Bill, thanks so much, man. This Thank has you. been amazing. I think uh, I'm excited to see what's in store at the, the upcoming panel. Uh, so that'll be great. You're going to be on the panel, right? I will be on the panel tomorrow uh, if you're in San Diego and want to come by. Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. We're back at San Diego Comic-Con. 2022. How exciting is that, man? Good to, see. Good to see. I know you. you've been waiting for it for years. Many years. And, yeah. and we're back. We're back. Uh, so stay tuned to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com for the rest of San Diego Comic Con.